This episode brought to you by MeepleRealty.com, your source for high-quality custom board game inserts. Meeple Realty, think inside the box. Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we're bringing you a Kickstarter update. And for those of you that don't know, I have a very strict three games at a time on Kickstarter. I never back more than three games at a time, otherwise I'll just be clicking all over the place. I've also found so far, I think this helps me make sure that the games I do back are really... Uh, top-notch pretty epic games so right now where we're at is Zaya Embers of a Forsaken Star which is the first board game project I ever backed on Kickstarter has come in uh, it came in a couple weeks ago maybe about three weeks ago and so far I'm loving it I've actually only got a table twice so far however I uh, plan to be starting the campaign the solo campaign very soon and I'm gonna bring at least a, a few of the games of that campaign to the channel. Um, I also hope to bring some multiplayer games of this expansion to the channel as well, as well as a how to play video. So hopefully that's something that I can get to y'all and that y'all enjoy watching. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun so far. The components in this game are amazing. There's these ice asteroids that fly around certain tiles and they look fantastic. There's these new cargo cubes called ember that are not they're, they're not just plain white they actually have this almost like pearlescent look to them which is really cool i, I love everything that came in this box it adds so much to zaya it, it truly is when someone says hey you know what's a necessary expansion or, or not necessarily necessary because zaya was also a, a pretty good game but what's a what's an expansion that once it's in there, there's no reason to separate it out from the game because it just adds that much fantastic additional content. And this is one of those expansions. Once you mix everything in, I can't see any reason why you'd ever want to pull it apart again. So Zaya Embers of a Forsaken Star has come in and that opened up a spot. So what game is taking its place? Well, we'll get to that momentarily. But first, let's talk about Gloomhaven, which is... The next game I anticipate will come in. It is from Cephalofair Games. This, for somebody, anybody that doesn't know about this game, it is a massive, massive dungeon crawl in a sense, but there's no dice. It's all card play. It's very, you know, the, the, the luck is mitigated. Now, it's not without luck because there are decks that are drawn from for the monsters, how they act, and all this sort of thing. However, it is still very much... Uh, the luck is minimized compared to a lot of dungeon crawls out there just simply by not having any dice. Then on top of that, the, there's something like 97 missions that are included in the game, and you don't play through all of them. It all depends on your choices throughout. Most people beat the main game, the main campaign, in something like 60 to 70 missions. I mean, this game is huge. There's side quests. Your heroes retire. you know, uh, And when they retire, new heroes become unlocked. It's, it's absolutely astonishing, the stuff that comes in this box. I'm expecting that to be here hopefully the end of August, maybe pushing into September a little bit. And since the last kicks are up, it's not really anything new to report on the production uh, other than around June 19th. I think it was the update we got where, you know, Isaac was talking about some minor problems with certain components in the production, but it was something that got smoothed out really easy. I believe it was something to do uh, the the this version, this printing has an updated health tracker, and what's the other thing it tracks? Man, it's not mana. I forget what it's called. Anyway, uh, uh, instead of uh, pushing this token along this track, you actually have a wheel that you use to keep track of this stuff. And I guess there were minor issues with that. I'm not sure exactly, but whatever it was, it did not seem to affect the production schedule at all. So that was good. And so basically Gloomhaven is just trucking along and so far so good should be here in another month and a half to two months. Then we've got Kingdom Death Monster also still trucking along with the, its production. This one, though not sure exactly when it's gonna get here, could be anywhere from the end of August all the way into December because of the amount of people that ordered the, or that backed this game. But most late, the, the most recent updates have shown uh, some sculpture 
art as well as the very beginnings of a sculpture just you know the kind of the concept almost of the gambler which is one of the new new characters that will actually be coming in the gambler's chest uh one of the i believe it's going to be uh or it is one of the monsters in the gambler's chest however that is actually in a the second or third wave so that's not even coming in the end of this year that's much later but so that was in one of the most recent updates and he is looking pretty cool from some of the art that i saw there some of the ideas it's looking like it'll be a pretty cool uh pretty cool monster there and then with the uh, update before that adam actually said that the plastic all the plastic components the plastic assets for the game were completed and that, that was done as far as production goes and that it, at that point, they had also approved the paper assets for production, and that was now underway as well. So things are looking good as far as that goes. Uh, lots of copies of this obviously have to be printed, but it is well on its way. So that brings us to the game that I have now backed that has replaced Zaya as, my number th as the third game that I have currently backed, and that is Founders of Gloomhaven, obviously also from Cephal Affair Games. This is completely different than Gloomhaven. This is a medium-heavy Euro city builder. You're actually building the city of Gloomhaven that so much of the game Gloomhaven takes place around. And this is a game that's you know, got resources, and there's I believe there's 18 or 19 different resources in the game. Some of them are basic resources that you start at the beginning of the game with, and then as you place them out, and you start building the city with the other players. And I say with in the sense that you're all building it, but you're competing against each other. As you're building this city, uh, the, the players can gain access to, well, they have access to their own resources, but then gain access to their opponent's resources as well, combine them to create an advanced resource. And so that's how you end up with 18 or 19 total resources because you combine the, the basic resources to create uh, uh, better and more advanced resources and then there's a system where if some of your resources are used to create this one thing but a different player is the one that actually built it that player gets more you know points for doing so but because your resources were fun funneled into it then you're going to get a few points as well so that's pretty neat i think that's a pretty cool idea the city is also broken into different sections. I know that there's different terrain, and then there's a section that's blocked off by an ancient wall, and I believe there's a river in there, and you have to build bridges and tunnels and stuff like that to be able to access all the parts of the city. It looks really cool. It's currently on Kickstarter right now. It's reached $327,000. It needed $50,000 to fund, so it's obviously going to fund uh, $49 for a copy of the game if you're interested go take a look at it there'll be a link in the description below for that and I'm trying to see what else uh, if there's anything else I should mention to you about that no I mean that's that's pretty much where we're at so right now the active Kickstarters Gloomhaven King of Death Monster and Founders of Gloomhaven and Founders of Gloomhaven actually should be here in January so I'm gonna get kind of all these games kind of pile up all at once so I might be real busy on Kickstarter towards the beginning of next year. We'll see. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Check out the links in the description below. And yeah, until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline. <laughs>